is underway. A new ruling from the Indiana Court of Appeals appears to put the state back in the middle of a civil lawsuit over the state fair stage collapse. The justices overturned a lower court ruling and now they say the state may be responsible for the civil liability and legal defense of Mid-America Sound, the company that built the stage rigging. The state had argued the law prevents a private company from shifting the financial burden to taxpayers. Victims from the collapse sued Mid-America and a number of other groups involved in that 2011 concert. The Attorney General's office expects to release a statement later today about the ruling and its impact. A longtime Indianapolis mayor is now asking for prayers as he battles serious health issues. Bill Hudnut served as mayor from 1976 to 1992. During that time, he led the charge on dozens of iconic projects. Just a few months ago, a statue was unveiled in his honor. But we've learned Hudnut is getting treatment for throat cancer and for his heart. He's now taken medical leave from his position at Georgetown University. On a page he set up online, Hudnut wrote, I'm fighting really hard, and the prayers, encouragement, and good wishes I've already received have been the best medicine yet. Now, take a look. Crews are in the process of updating that giant bracket on the JW Marriott now that we know the last four teams standing in the NCAA tournament. This year, the Big Ten Conference is well represented with the Wisconsin Badgers and the Michigan State Spartans both in the Final Four. On Saturday, Wisconsin will face off against top-seeded Kentucky, while Michigan State will take on the Duke Blue Devils. The winners move on to the NCAA championship game Monday night. And, of course, the game's just part of the final four festivities planned for this week, and there's also a free three-day music festival at White River State Park. Imagine Dragons headlines Friday night, Rihanna takes the stage Saturday night, and Zac Brown Band closes out the festival Sunday night. There are a lot of acts in between, and you can check out the lineup. You know where, WTHR.com. It's under Hot Topics. Well, next at noon, we're going to help you prepare a quick and easy dinner for your family. Hey there, I'm Anne-Marie Tiernan back in my kitchen with Chef Suzanne today. And today we're making a twist on a favorite order from Chinese restaurants, Kung Pao Chicken. We're adding some shrimp, an easy way to whip this together in 13 minutes or less when we come back. And now that spring has sprung, we've got some expert advice for getting your lawn back in shape. And a clean sweep right now on Live Doppler 13 radar. That will change later this week as we time out the arrival of 70s and some storms in the SkyTrack 13 forecast.